Welcome to the QuickBooks University free video training series. My name is Matt Holtquist. I'm a CPA in Greenville, South Carolina. I run a website called the QuickBooks University, which is at qbuniversity.org, where you can find 37 full-length videos uh, to teach you literally everything you need to know about getting up and running on QuickBooks Plus. Uh, we also offer free support by me. Uh, we have a members-only forum where you can ask your questions, and I personally answer each and every one of them. In this video, what I wanted to go through was receiving payments against invoices. Now, there's a certain way in QuickBooks to receive payments, and you want to make sure you do this right so that you track your accounts receivable correctly and you make sure your bank balances are correct. Okay? Now, the only time you're going to use this is when you actually have an invoice out there and somebody pays you for that invoice. Okay, if you use a sales receipt, if you watch the other video on entering sales, if you use a sales receipt, you're not going to use this function. This is only if you have invoices out there. Okay, so what you're going to do, uh, you'll see this customer's area uh, down here, and there's a button here that says receive payments. It's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, if you click that, You've got to first pull up your customer. We're going to say Christy Abercrombie Family Room. And she has an outstanding balance of $215.50. Okay? So let's say she sent us a check for $215.50. I hit tab. And we're going to say she paid by check. Check number 1356. And that's it. Now you'll notice QuickBooks automatically checks off your invoice down here. Okay? To show that it's applied. And it says amount due, $215.50, applied $215.50. Now, if she has any discounts or credits, you can uh, apply those here. But then you just hit either save and new if you're going to do another one or save and close. Okay. Now, QuickBooks takes this money when you receive it. And let me go to the chart of accounts to show you. Uh, QuickBooks goes here and puts the money in undeposited funds. Okay. Here's the 21550. Now the reason they do this is because they assume that in your business you might get your mail and you, let's say you get 10 checks or two checks, whatever it is, that you're going to record it as received, but you're not going to run to the bank immediately. Maybe you will, and if you do, fine. But a lot of businesses might go to the bank once a day, once a week, once every couple days, whatever the case may be. And so by putting it in a deposit fund, you're not artificially overstating your checking balance. And that way you can have a correct balance. So when you do take it to the bank, you're going to say banking, make deposits. Okay, and you'll see here that it brings up a list of which ones you want to deposit. So let's say we just took that check to the bank. So you check it off, you hit OK. It puts it on the deposit screen and you hit save and close. Okay. So now we'll see that it took it out of undeposited funds. Okay, so there's where it went in. Here's where it came back out. And if we go to the checking account, we'll see that we made a deposit. Let me scroll up here a little bit. Of $215.50. Okay, there it is. So it first puts it in undeposited funds, and then you have to go to banking make deposits and it puts it from undeposited funds over to your checking account. All right? Well, again, come over and check us out at the QuickBooks University. Uh, it's at qbuniversity.org where we have the 37 full-length videos where I guarantee you, you will learn everything you need to know about QuickBooks and then some, okay? And even some about successfully running your business. Uh, so come check us out. I look forward to seeing you over there.